Welcome to Agriculture and Fishery Art 7. Today, we will tackle the week 3, the farm waste management and actual performance of basket composting and foliar fertilizer fermentation. The farm waste processing. We have six basic functions in waste management system. First, the production, collection, transfer, storage, treatment, and utilization. Under production, the function of the amount and the nature of agricultural waste generated by an agricultural enterprise. For collection, it refers to the initial capture and gathering of the waste from the point of origin or deposition to a collection point. For transfer, refers to the movement and transportation of waste throughout the system. For storage, the temporary containment of the waste the storage facility of a waste management system is the tool that gives the manager control over the scheduling and timing of the system functions. Treatment, another function designed to reduce the pollution potential or modify the physical characteristics of the waste such as moisture and total solid, the content, to facilitate more efficient and effective handling. Utilization includes reusing and recycling of waste products. Agricultural waste may be used as source of energy, bedding, mold, organic matter or plant nutrients. When properly treated, they can be marketable. For types of waste, first we have liquid waste, commonly found in households as well as in industries. This waste includes dirty water, organic liquids, wash water, waste detergents, and even green water. Second, the solid rubbish. Solid rubbish can include various items found in your household, along with commercial and industrial locations. Other types of solid rubbish, we have the plastic waste, the paper card waste, tins and metals, and ceramic and glass. Under plastic waste, consists of plastic bags, containers, jars, bottles, and other products that can be found at home. For paper card waste, includes packaging materials, old newspapers, used cardboard, and other products. For tins and metals, can be found in various forms throughout your home. Most metals can be recycled. For ceramics and glass, these items can easily be recycled. Look for special glass and bottles and can create them into something useful like sugar, coffee, and cream container. Third, organic waste. Organic waste is another common household. All food waste, garden waste, manure, and rotten meat are classified as organic waste. Fourth, recyclable rubbish. Recyclable rubbish includes all waste items that can be converted into products that can be used again. Fifth, hazardous waste. Includes all types of flammables, toxics, corrosive, and reactive rubbish. Sixth, the industrial waste. Industrial waste is any type of waste that is produced by an industrial process. Next, how to make a basket composting at home or in school. The materials needed for basket composting are the following. Used plastic water container, prepared dried leaves taken from your backyard, rotten for juice like vegetables and fruit cleaning, eggshells, soil, water, hand trowel, and disposable hand gloves. For the procedures in making basket compost, prepare all the materials needed for basket composting, separate dried nips, peeling of fruits and rotten produce. In a plastic container, put some soil in the bottom part of it. Add rotten produce like dried nips, fruit peeling, eggshells and rotten vegetables and pile it as a next layer. 
are thirdly add the soil and the prepared rotten produce until it reaches the top part of the plastic container. And water the compost pile placed in the water container. Wait until the pile compost decomposes. How to make fermented foliar fertilizer? The materials needed in making a fermented foliar fertilizer are the following. One ripe banana. One apple. Few pieces of grapes, one for kilos or 250 grams brown sugar, one spoon for mixing the mixtures, plastic container with cover, clean chopping board, and knife. Procedures in making a fermented foliar fertilizer. First, prefer all the needed ingredients, materials, and tools in making a foliar fertilizer. On a clean chopping board, Slice the banana and apple approximately 1 eighth, combine and weight at 250 grams. Put in a clean plastic container the first mixture and add 1 fourth kilo or 250 grams of brown sugar. Combine first mixture and sugar. Must be 1 is to 1 ratio. Mix thoroughly, repeat mixing the first combined mixtures with sugar several times until it blends well. Once the combined mixtures are already thickened and blends well, seal it with a tightly closed container and do not forget to indicate the date when you actually prepare slice, fruit, and sugar so that you will be able to determine when it will achieve 7 days or week long fermentation required days. After 7 days of fermentation, you can now check if it is resulted well and ready to be used as organic fertilizer to your flowering plants or other forms of plants or crops. To check, you open the container then, sift the juice that was formed from fermented mixtures. You can now make a mixture of or spraying it on the plants. You can now spray it on the plant, use it as organic fertilizer that will help your plants develop and grow healthy. Monitor and document if the plants will be able to apply for the fertilizer develop and grow successfully. Show the report to your teacher the results of your outputs through submitting your portfolio of documentation with narrative as your proof for proper rating. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe and hit the bell button.